Hi, my name is Ian Temple, and I'm the founder of Soundfly. I'm really excited to welcome you to our new course on making music for film and media. Storytelling is such a massive part of our daily lives, whether it's the movies we love, TV shows, social media. It's not surprising that we as musicians want to add our musical voice to the art form. Music has been accompanying stories for thousands of years and all across the globe. Many theater traditions have a musical element, from ancient Greek tragedies to Japanese kabuki theater to European opera and beyond. When the first films appeared, it was natural for music to be part of the equation. You can listen to an aria without watching it performed, or watch a story play out without sound. When the music and the drama are placed together, the combo is way more powerful than what can be achieved separately. Take Sergio Leone's masterpiece, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This old spaghetti western is considered to have one of the greatest endings to a movie of all time. But can you imagine how boring this climactic scene would be without the music? Without Morricone's emotionally charged score adding tension, it's really just three middle-aged men standing around in a graveyard. Writing for picture is a huge topic, but in this course, we're hoping to help you dip your toes in and get started. Our aim is to get you up and running and beginning to play around on your very own projects, maybe even building a portfolio. If you're like me, one of the biggest questions on your mind is, how do I even get started writing for picture? We will definitely answer that question and go way beyond it. Whether you're dreaming of making it big in Hollywood or you just want to kind of make music on your own YouTube videos. And while it's not a focus of the course, we'll briefly talk about sync licensing as well and the role that ad music plays in all this. I'll be your guide in this course, but this course was actually created by more than a dozen different people. It also features interviews with some professional film scorers and TV scorers working in Hollywood or on independent projects today. Between them, they have multiple Emmy and Oscar nominations. I'm really lucky to have their insights. We'll touch on the full processes used by pros, but also how you can start adding music to picture at home on your own with no budget and no jobs yet on the docket. While you can certainly go through this course using traditional music notation like Finale or Sibelius or even sheet music, a big portion of it will focus on setting up your digital audio workstation or DAW to score a picture. We'll also discuss software instruments and samples and how modern film scorers use those to help realize their ideas. Through this course, we're gonna learn how film music is traditionally made. We're gonna dissect the many roles music can play in films. We're gonna show you how to make a demo in the DAW. We're gonna look at the future and the history of film scoring and discuss where it's going. We're gonna look at why composers use high strings to create tension or low pounding drums for a march to war. Our you ready? Let's dive in. <laughs> <laughs>